Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy ACL Official back with another video. As promised today, we're looking at the Ferragamo belts. Now, before I get into this one, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know too much about Ferragamo belts. I saw a lot of people asking for reviewing it in the comments. So I decided, yeah, I may as well have a look into it and see what we can do. Another thing you wanna note in this video is that the two models I'm comparing here are actually slightly different models. There are so many different variations of Ferragamo belts. Anyone who knows the brand will know that. And it's been a bit difficult to try and get exactly the same pair for you. I did wanna get it out sooner rather than later. So this is what we've got here. But yeah, I will explain this more as I get into the actual review. So um, starting off, we'll just look at the bag at the top here. Now this came with the fake one. So if you do shop in a Ferragamo shop, you will obviously get given a bag. What you wanna look for on the fake ones though is the print's not usually very well done. You get fading and overall the quality on the bag is just quite a good tell. So, so if you look on the left hand side, we can see there's a lot of fading going on here. Even just the actual print, it just doesn't look as crisp as it maybe should. If we move on to the actual fake box, you can see we've got the same issue in terms of the words not being overly sharp and you can just see a bit of fade in here. If you take a look at the real one, in general, you can just see uh, the writing's a lot more crisper, a lot sharper, more defined. There's, I can't really see any fading on that at all. The other thing on the real one is that it has that Florence Italy underneath the Ferragamo. The fake one does not have that at all. But as I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know too much about Ferragamo, so I don't know if that's a tell or just the difference in the packaging because this is an old, the fake one's an older version. So yeah, if anyone does know that, feel free to drop that in the comments because a lot of people do look there if they're not sure on something. Um, fake receipt here. You can pause the video if you wanna look at it a bit closer. And if you are shopping online and someone is trying to show you something like this, then you can use this to compare. The other thing it came with was this um, authenticity card. Now, a lot of the fakes just throw these cards in there. I haven't personally had one of these from one of the real brands myself. The real one didn't come with one of these either, so that's another thing you might wanna note. There's a receipt of the real one there, just in case everyone, anyone wanted to see that quickly. All right, so next up, we've got the dust bags. The fake ones on the left, real on the right. The real one just looks a bit lighter. It looks a bit larger as well. As I don't know a lot about Ferragamo. I can't tell you whether this color is wrong or if it's a copy of an older version or whatever. It's just a difference I've noticed here. One thing you will be able to use though is the definity of the Ferragamo writing. And that seems to be a consistent thing throughout the whole belt and the packaging. So there's your side by side. It is really slight, but that is a difference you can look for. The real one always looks more it just looks more defined, looks nicer. The real one also came with um, another little dust cover for the buckle. Uh, the fake one didn't come with one of these at all and I don't think any fakes will. So if you get one of these, that's probably quite a good sign. Okay, so moving on to the buckle right away, you're just gonna see the definity of the Ferragamo. It's just, it's a bit thinner and finer on the real thing. In the top left of the F, there is a stain on the real thing. So I will be returning this one. It did come like that, which is kind of a letdown from such a big brand. But in general, like the quality on the buckle of the real one should be better than the fake one. If you look here on the fake, you can see a lot of this coloring in that top corner. But yeah, the main thing to look at there is just gonna be that Ferragamo. The straps are slightly different because as I said, the models I couldn't find the same model, so I can't really do a direct comparison on that. But on the fake, because of the lack of quality you usually get, um, you're gonna get little scratches and marks like this quite a lot. The strap on the real one, although it is different, is really, really high quality. So in terms of the strap, you'll normally be able to tell. On top of that, the real one did come with the Ferragamo made in Italy. It's got a little serial code there. But um, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I'm gonna stop showing certain details. So this is the fake here. And if you look there, it's got the size in. On the real one, as you saw a bit earlier, the sizing is actually towards the top. I reckon that's probably just due to timing differences in when the model was released and things like that. I can't really speak too much on that. So I think the main things you're just gonna be looking at is um, the quality of how the Ferragamo has been engraved or printed. Check the quality on the strap as well. If people have got the receipts, if they've got um, proof they bought it from the store or wherever, then that's always a really good sign. But yeah, I've covered the main things I could cover on this. If it wasn't that helpful, sorry about that, but I was kind of limited on this one. I'm not gonna just come on here and start saying, this is a tell, this is a tell, this is a tell, blah, 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 just because I'd rather be honest and just tell you lot, I don't really know too much about these belts. Don't really wanna be putting false information out there either. So like I was saying earlier, if you do know extra stuff about the belts, feel free to drop that in the comments. And yeah, apart from that, I haven't got anything else to talk on. So I'll see you lot again on the next video. 
Peace.